Look at that. Mm. Thank you guys for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Today we are going to be cooking the iconic Double Double from In-N-Out. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna pay some respect to this burger. Here are my local In-N-Out getting ready to do a little recon on the Double Double. The easy thing for me to do would be to just to simply cook a cheeseburger at home, put in and out in the title, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. So before I actually start cooking, quick disclosure, this video is actually being sponsored by me, Ballistic Barbecue. So check out the link I have for the Ballistic Mojo Griddle. It's finally available for sale on Mojo Outfitters site. I'll have the link below. And while you're on your computer, check out my book, please. It's on Amazon. I'll have a link below. It's a good value for the amount of recipes that are in here and it'll release later in November. So please check it out. Let's start cooking. We're going to kick this recipe off by making the burger spread. A little credit goes to a website called The Food Hacker. Um, I tried his recipe. I compared it to in and out spread and I dug it. I did make a couple tweaks though. I think I made it actually, I made an improvement on it, on an already good sauce. We're going to kick it off with some mayonnaise. And I'm using an American mayonnaise because I know that's what In-N-Out's using. Ketchup. So this next ingredient was my switch. Food Hacker used fresh, finely minced onion, and I used dehydrated onion. And I honestly, you have to make this in advance, like a couple hours to a day in advance, but ultimately you get a better oniony flavor, and I just think the texture is more accurate. Finely minced dill pickle relish, granulated sugar, yellow mustard, paprika, and salt, white vinegar. Give it a good mix and toss it in the fridge and let those flavors meld. Again, those onions are gonna rehydrate and they're also gonna distribute their, their flavor throughout the sauce. I mean, it's killer. Now for the buns. They're actually using a baker in Carson in the LA area called Puritan. And you can't find these buns. They're very difficult to find in the store. So buy them from in and out I've never went to a, a fast food place that they weren't willing to sell me the buns. So the mojo's all preheated. Now in and outs cooking on, I suspect, two zones. They have a medium zone where they're cooking the patties and a medium low zone where they're toasting the buns. Those are really getting a toast on the buns. So these are gonna go on before the patties. And now for the patties, we have two gigantic ounces of ground chuck. in and out has a high fat content and I ground this myself. I'm, I'm shooting for 25 to 30% fat. If you don't feel like grinding your own, you can have your butcher do it for you. Just buy a piece of chuck roast or use 80-20. I'm going to season these patties with some salt, some pepper. All right, we'll get these flipped. A little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. And we're gonna go with some American cheese, but check this out. I'm taking the cheese and I'm going to fold it. I know about a quarter of the way. Fold side down and we wanna leave a little smile there. That's what they do it in and out. Again, fold it in about a quarter. So on this one, I'm gonna put this gigantic piece of onion I Meanwhile, look at there. This is what we're looking for as far as the toast is concerned. Now we're going to get the bottom bun all prepped and ready to rock here. So I'll get that spread that I made. Again, nice toast on this bun. A gigantic piece of tomato. This is center cut. Some iceberg lettuce. Now we'll scoop this up, put it on top. We're gonna scoop this bad boy up and put her down. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had making it. If you haven't subbed, please do. Make sure you hit the notification bell. See you on the next video. Cheers.